Hello everybody, my name is Digital Cake. Welcome back to your regularly scheduled program. <clears throat> if you watched yesterday's video, which was Factorio episode 30, um, Power Online, uh, there was no audio, yes. And that was a mistake on my end as the audio file never managed to get over to the YouTube side of things. And while I've tried multiple times to try to find that audio file, that audio file has went into the, uh, the abyss of the files of my computer. Which will probably be found when I clean it out next week. That's just when I have a scheduled clean out where I'm going to get rid of all the old recordings while they're stacking up a bunch of memory. Okay, so <clears throat> in the last episode, we died like 85,000 times, and today we have our good stuff here. So we have strong, tough, trapping, and medic. But our flaws are uh, metabolism and insomniac. Okay, strong. Okay, and then hop out the window. Okay, we want to scavenge this with the medical skill. That way we can get the, um... That way we can... Get the much needed bandages. Okay, and then in the meantime, let's go over to cra crafting. Jeez. Oh, what the frick was that? Probably somebody sitting on their keys. Okay, mm, like I've decided, uh, we're going to have to quickly get through scavenging everything. We can, while heading directly for Detroit, which apparently I was very ridiculously close to. You know, before I died the first out of 18,000 times. Shack in the forest. Oh. That's great. Okay, so let's scavenge this. Abandoned mobile home. No. Uh, abandoned mobile home. Oh, bunch of crap. Okay. Corn and cola. Um, half a pair of binoculars. Uh, no, I want to pick the medium branch as my weapon. And I'm just going to have that half pair of binoculars, just in case. Just going to, um, do that. Oh, there's a dog nearby. I have bad, um, backgrounds with those dogs. Only because the last time we dealt with them, I died. Actually, oh, I bled out. Okay, yeah, just making sure that my mic is actually turned on, because if it weren't, no, I don't, I don't want to do that. Ooh, but I really want this. But I cannot take off this Tailsman. Whatever I do, I was told never to ever take it off. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't even fit this thing in at all. 
Okay, well, let's at least take that then. That way, either way, we can still semi zoom in. Ooh, that's the kind of areas that I hear have a lot of good loot. Oh, that's locked. Oh, okay. I found some good. S I found some good stuff there. Nope. Right, well, luckily I've only been hurt once. And... Empty out. Yeah, those are painkillers, so let me just put those... And they're... Yeah, those are painkillers. So, the red ones are painkillers. The red and whites are painkillers. Plain whites are antibiotics. Ooh. Yeah, that would have been super useful. Just, um. Okay, yeah. There's only the locked storage shed left, which I cannot. Ooh. Um. This office building is in ruins and is. And it's unlikely much survived its collapse. The creaking walls and ceiling are no boost to your confidence either. Still, that may not that may mean no one was brave enough or perhaps desperate enough to go in there. Oh, I'm definitely desperate. And I found loot. Oh. I've had great, um, Ooh. Uh. okay, so yeah, it's locked. Which won't help me. Yeah, I can't put that around my neck only because, well, I have the Talesman on. And I was told no matter what, never to take off the Talesman. Because it could result in my inevitable doom. Okay, yeah. So the cut's still there, which means I still want to have it bandaged up. First only building is I'm gonna just scavenge this. Oh my god, I just found like the best weapons I could possibly find. Okay. There we go, meat cleaver. Okay, now let's go down to here. Only cause that upper one only had Ah Dog, stay away. I will chop your leg off and eat it. I'll fry it. I, oh no, I could have gotten more loot. I keep double clicking by accident. So rest and heal. Oh yes, perfect. Okay. Rest and heal. Alrighty. Okay, there's a little shack in the woods. Nope, nothing, of course. I saw that. Oh, god dang it, why? Okay, so yeah, this is... Ah, uh, this is the Badlands. Uh, oh, we have a mini-map? Oh my god, we have a mini-map? 
Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. This map is... Ma yeah, we are super far away. Okay, so where that little itsy bitsy speck right there. And we have to get all the way over to the glow. I also hear that there's like a military base here somewhere. Like upwards, and there's also like an Indian reservation and stuff like that. And Jeez, I cannot see a thing. What the frick are you? Dude, you look cool. Okay. Hey, you looked cool. I wanted to take your stuff. Come back. Baby, come back. Yeah, this is the problem. I'm gonna start dying of like thirst or something. So storage shed. Oh, okay. So I found a bunch more shirts. Can I get rid of the stupid freaking cornicola shirt? And I'll take something more appropriate, like a like an an Allegan Fairgrounds. Yeah. Definitely, Allegan Fairgrounds. So I'm blind, apparently. That's nice. So what, am I like 80? 90, 1,000? How old am I? Oh, thank God, it's starting to get day again. See, it's mainly because I do not do well during nighttime. Also, don't know all that much about that stuff down there. I would love to be able to tell some story behind it, but I really don't know. Okay, I'm actually going to skip this city. Only because I want to be able to get there as quickly as possible. Because I can hear, I hear that you can basically get just about anything and never have to leave again once you get there. That's what I hear. Cannot confirm any of uh, my information. Oh, that's nice. A scratch and barely effective. Oh, I'm dying of thirst. That's nice. Aren't we all? Speaking of thirst, I should freaking got a water bottle before I sat down and started recording. Oh, yep, definitely taking this meat cleaver. I'm patched. Uh. Okay, so this weekend, um. Yeah, I'm going to do like a little like test and I'll find something I quite honestly don't know what yet, but I will indeed find something and I mean anything to fill in like for this entire weekend. only to test how interested you guys are in, you know, actually, um, watching on the weekends. Oh, no. This is my enemy. Okay, this is, this is going to end bad for me. As you step 
into a clearing, you finally see the source of that eastern glow. It's a city larger than any you've ever seen. It's New York. Skyscrapers and their bigger brothers. Archaeologies. Archaeologies? Stand shoulder to shoulder, casting their glittering lights into the sky. Hovering lights flit around the super towers like fire fire like fireflies. Uh. A massive wall encircles their base with armed buttresses. <laughs> buttresses. <laughs> like glowing points on a crown. And radiating out from that wall, a shanty town of crumbling buildings, shacks, and tarpaulin twos. Okay. Relief at the sight of civilization almost overtakes you until you realize you still have to make it there. That and scavenging promises to get a lot harder near the city as nearby ruins will have been picked over already. Okay. N n oh. I can make it. I know I can. Gosh darn it, don't die on me now. No. Oh. Ooh. You hear them before you see them, people. Lots of them. Pushing branches aside, you're presented with the city you saw from afar. A hybrid between shantytown refuge camp and RV park skirts the massive walls to the city. If we're you look people navigating the winding the winding muddy roads carrying supplies, patches patching holes in the shelters or arguing over prop property. Smoke from a thousand camp stoves and barrel fires trail upwards and the scent of cooked food elicits a gurgling from your stomach. Nary an eye pays attention any attention to you. Just one of dozens of ragtag corpses shuffling in the wasteland. Beggars, customers, hopefuls, prey. Welcome to DMC's Sprawl. Okay. Okay. I can get free freaking electri electricity. Okay. Okay, I need I need to make it somehow. Okay. <clears throat> uh. Navigating the twisty maze of shacks and tarp shelters, Detroit's... Oh, it's Detroit. Detroit's massive walls stand as a constant backdrop to the east. Easily half a dozen stories high and probably almost as thick. The city walls are an impressive sight to behold. Armed towers bristling with uh, surveillance arrays stand at regular intervals. Keeping watch over the sprawl and likely w the city within. Before you, giant vid screens on the three gate towers flash instructions about pass requirements and threat levels as flocks of people stream into and out of the gates. <coughs> You take your place in the line on the right with the others entering the city. When you reach the front of the line, a sinking f uh, feeling overcomes you. Heavily armed guards in full combat armor are checking attendees with some sort of scanning device. You're pretty sure whatever th these folk, other folks have to get in, you're missing. But when it's your turn, uh, the guard stops you and turns to a monitor installed in the wall. A message reads, device not entered, entrance device not detected, entrance denied. With the 
efficiency and compassion of an assembly line worker, he directs you away from the line back outside. Unfortunately, getting in, getting entrance to the city may be trickier than just showing up. Oh, hi, boy. Great hair. I mean, ten out of ten hair, like best ever. You got like that smile, like, hey. You saw my dead body in the closet. How about, you know, let's have some dinner at my place, you know, and conveniently lock the door behind you. Back outside, you cross the muddy square and stop to survey the area. Where do you go now? Would anyone in the sprawl know about the cryo facility? You're startled when you notice a man has been watching you. He's wearing a long brown coat and matching hat and is leaning on a walking stick. Oh no. He he's a myrtle urtle. He's a myrtle urtle. <clears throat> okay, so we're actually finally getting into some freaking story or something. And is leaning on a walking stick. From this distance, you can almost see the glint of his eyes below the Tribly's brim. Though it's probably just your imagination. He takes his time approaching you, and as he nears, you notice that there's heavy... McQuillage on his face. It reminds you of one of those old portraits you'll see... You'd see in a history textbook. Oh, okay, so he looks like a l he looks like a famous person. Folks call me Hatter. He says matter of factly. I um Okay, I, I need to think of a great uh voice for him. Hey. Folks call me Hatter. I don't know. I mean, he's walking on a walking stick. I mean, he doesn't sound gangster. Um Folks around here call me Hatter. I think we may be able to help each other. Come with me. Yeah, I mean, Hatter's office is in the husk of one of those flop house hotels you'd see crammed between high rises in a busy city. It even has the old Markley hanging per, uh, precautiously. From the cornerstone, several floors up, armed guards watch over the street from missing sections of the building. Hatter acknowledges the men at the door and leads you through a surprisingly clean lobby to an old-fashioned elevator. I have a client. He starts, pausing for the cage to rattle shut. Who collects heirlooms? He speaks louder over the monitor. He compensates well, well enough, in fact, that I'd be willing to part with a DMC visitor's pass in exchange. The elevator clunks to a halt, and the door rattles open, revealing a dark room lit by a video lit by video screens and old lamps. <coughs> Stepping off the elevator, it feels like you've walked into a control center built into an antique store. Bobbles and relics crowd the walls and tabletops, while video screens and computer consoles cast a blush, bluish tint on a handful of armed guards. Hatter crosses the room to sit at a low, broad desk facing the elevator. <coughs> There's a lake. He pulls a worn road atlas from a desk drawer. About a day's walk northwest of here. <coughs> Inside a building, there is a silver urn. He pages through the atlas of it to a map of Michigan. Oh, so we're in Michigan. So we're in Chicago, which is in Michigan, which is in the U.S., which something clearly has happened, and I'm guessing the U.S. is clearly not doing its job. Okay. My guess is that you know a thing or two. About getting around, getting around out he there, and maybe this could be a ticket in the DMC. He pauses to look up at you. Shut up. Interested? Yeah, I, I think this is perfect voice, but I mean, my alarm just went off for 25 minutes. Okay, this is about 25 minute mark, but I'm gonna finish this up 
this conversation up. Okay, so I could use trapping and something's fishy here. Something doesn't add up. You're no seasoned mer mercenary, but you're sure any fixer worth his salt is going to be careful with whom he contracts for work. And a visitor's pass can't be cheap, so there's no way this is just a cakewalk test. Plus, Hatter approached you. Nobody walks into a town out of, out of nowhere and gets that kind of welcome. Something doesn't wash here. And it's making you edgy. I don't like this. I, I don't know. What, what voice? I don't like this. <clears throat> I don't like this. You say, stopping short of sounding threatening. Sounds like someone's trying to set me up. That gets Hatter's attention. You hear the creak of leather as a guard tenses. Hmm. He says, leaning back in his creaky chair. Turns out, maybe you are worth the extra attention you seem to have gathered. He looks down at a blank spot on his desk, con considering something, something a moment, and starts talking at it. Your, let's call him, employer had a particular interest in you. He leans forward and starts interacting with the security council. Interested enough to open this urn contract with express instructions that it only be assigned to you. Said I'd find you trying to enter the DMC. Said he'd front the cost of a visitor's pass if I got you to do it. He finishes a keystroke, then gestures to the wall monitors. Maestro! One of the monitors switches to a view of this room with a cycling timecode in the lower corner. After a few seconds of fast forwarding, it switches to real-time real playback. There, standing where you are now, a black mass about the size of a man talks with Hatter. The detail seems to be glitchy, as if there was some dark-colored static disorienting the signal, but only the the figure, but only around the figure. What's with that sen sensory? You ask. Don't know. He says. Looked like normal in person. Maybe some sort of EM interference. <sighs> the discussion is short, punctuated by the figure sta handling Hatter a small object, then leaving. As a rule, I don't disclose client info like this. He stops the video. But you seem like a decent type. More to the point, resourceful. And while money talks, I'll take a competent operative over cash any day. <clears throat> he reaches into a drawer and pulls out a small black wristband. The pass is yours. I'll keep my ear to the ground for any info on this Reaper fellow and let you know. And hey, he says before letting go of it, maybe you can come around again when you're looking for some more work. Yeah, well, I'm currently about to die of dehydration. <laughs> okay, do I have any aqua? Okay, how much is this? This bracelet's not worth anything. Um. Okay, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Where is there like... Oh, I just died. That's great. Really did try. <clears throat> okay. 
uh, chill. If you liked that video, make sure to leave a like and a comment telling me how horrible of a person I am. And make sure to subscribe. My name is Digital Cake. Signing off. Bye-bye. Uh,